Hi, I'm Dara Moss, owner of Snorf Industries, and today I'm going to show you the right way to measure your dog. To begin, you'll need just a few things. Measuring tape, some treats, and probably a dog. Don't have one of these flexible measuring tapes? Eh, this isn't going to be accurate. Grab a piece of string, nothing too stretchy, and either a ruler or one of these measuring tapes. Wrap the string around your dog, then measure the length with the ruler. Let's start with the head. Pretend you're making a chin strap. Wrap under the head and back over the top, just in front of the ears. Enzo is 16 inches. Good boy! For next size, measure where the dog's collar normally sits. Take it off if you need to. Remember, don't pull too tight or let it hang too loose. To measure the chest, get right up behind your dog's arms at the widest part of the chest and come up across the back. For the waist, feel for where your dog's last ribs are in their rib cage. Measure just below this spot. Bring the tape up over the back. The back measurement begins at the base of the neck, where the collar sits, all the way down to where the tail begins, or in this case, the stump. The forearms go from the chest to the floor. Start right in your dog's armpit and go straight down. To see how your dog measures up with our special snorf sizes, check out the sizing grid on our site. We've created three sizes to accommodate French Bulldogs. Little Snorf for the shorter, stubbier Frenchies, Big Snorf for the bigger, taller Frenchies, and Medium Snorf for all those guys in the middle. We know Frenchies and dogs in general come in all kinds of crazy shapes and sizes. So if your dog's measurements don't line up with one of our snorf sizes, order a custom size for a small additional charge. We'll create a sewing pattern based specifically on your dog's measurements. Well, we hope you had enough treats to get all the measurements you needed. Thanks for watching.